Morning, Red. Good morning. Good morning, Kitty Boy. Well, that was my first sunrise wake up since I arrived here. I think that this is like our fourth day. And the reason I didn't wake up for the other sunrises is because uh, we've been pretty busy settling in and then of course editing the videos posting them so um, we've been trying to get some decent amount of sleep but today is going to be extra special we have uh, Charlie coming over he owns a hostel here nearby and some of his buddies and we've been granted access by the Coast Guard to go into the boat and do some scuba diving and uh, they're also going to be testing out some new equipment like a hoses attached to the boat so people can um, be diving underwater down to like five meters with the hose basically just like a scuba diving so uh, it's, it's gonna be a cool thing for introduction to scuba diving if no one has done it before so yeah it's gonna be a fun day today <laughs> okay we're still waiting on uh, people to arrive uh, Charlie and his crew but in the meanwhile, we actually have to be filling out a lot of documents, a lot of forms, which is basically the new norm if you're doing any sort of a tourism activity. Just make sure if you're doing anything right now during the situation with the COVID and all that, is to do everything correctly and legally and have all the documents. So even if it's as simple as that, taking that boat out for a spin, we have to file or the uh, owner has to file a lot of uh, paperwork just to take him out for a yeah, test drive because he hasn't been sailed for six months. You guys <laughs> might recognize this guy. Charlie is in the house. What's up? What's how up you, YouTube? How you doing, <laughs> how you doing bro? Good, good man. How's Excited. life been? Yeah? Uh, life's all right, all right. can't complain. Okay. Considering yeah. the circumstances. <laughs> but excited for today to get out on the big boat, the maiden voyage. But, the main question is, everybody has been commenting on my videos that where is Daniel Marsh? I don't know man. I don't know where he is. Last time he was seen, he was with you. Yeah, and that was the last time I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> MIA. <laughs> Guys, I think Daniel is actually back in Manila and uh, he's, he's doing okay. So no worries. But anyways, we're going to be checking out uh, Lee's boat with Diva Alegria Resort and uh, give it a test run for the first time in six months. We got all the documents, we got all the paperwork to do it, but we're going to have a fun dive. We are legit. We are legit today. Legit. We got free divers, we got scuba divers, and the ducks are barking. <laughs> so let's go. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully we'll catch some dinner. Yes. And Jake is going to be on a boat for the first time ever. Yes, Jake! <laughs> All the boys are on board. Now to the big one. It's all in the I 
Additionally, before we head out, we had to do like a safety briefing by the operator, Lee and his crew. We wear life jackets and go over all the new norm rules and regulations. For example, you can't no, no longer spit into your mask and clean the mask like that. So there's a bunch of new things you have to follow these days. Thank you for coming on this first voyage trip, this the Virgin trip, okay? Okay, just a few uh, safety protocols. Um, first aid. Okay, we have a first aid box in there. And uh, this tour today is only allowed today. We got one day permit for it, so uh, yeah, give it a test.
<laughs> no better way to end of the day than karaoke. What a insane day. Fun day with Charlie meeting up with him of course for the first time. And then uh, shout out to all the government officials that grant us the pass, DOT, the PNB, the Coast Guard. Fantastic, thank you guys so much. And uh, it's just the, hopefully, some sort of a test and beginning for the tourism industry. I hope you guys can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe I'll go a little bit further away. But just insane day, guys. This is why I love Philippines. The dolphins, the endangered hawksbill turtle, lobster, all the amazing marine creatures and fishes, especially in that sanctuary. It's of course not allowed to fish there, that's why there's so many fish. And uh, I hope in the future there's gonna be more of them because they also spawn more fishes, grow the fishes, and then they expand out of it. So uh, there's gonna be more fish for everybody. So hopefully in the future there's gonna be more of that. Wow, like I said, today, this is why I live here. This is why I love Philippines. And I can't wait for more days like that. Anyways, until next time, peace out.